Well, uh, how would you describe the impact of the loss of Mark Shifley in game one to the series? Well, you, you play a series that clearly you're having a hard time finding their net. You take your best offensive player out. Um, and just as importantly, what it's what it leaves you with then is is the challenge. We'll go next to Murata Tesh from The Athletic. Go ahead, Murata. Thanks, Gregor. Hi, Paul. Um, same thing I asked your players. Do you take any solace? I know it's super, super fresh, but do you take solace in having given Bounds uh, in Winnipeg and the community something to, to look at and cheer for it at what's been a tough time? It's such a special place, Winnipeg, and... You know, unfortunately, we weren't able to kind of do that together to enjoy playoff hockey and then enjoy a, a playoff win at home because there's a, the players need that, right? We need that uh, that feedback for energy. And even, in the, you know, the building tonight with the number of people they had in it, there was an energy there. And uh, you kind of feel like you missed out on it a little bit. So, um Probably only the second, I think it's the second time in franchise history they got out of the first rounds. And you, and you want to share that with your fans. We have such a fantastic home building, you know, and, and the crowd is, it's different there, I think, than anywhere else. Um, so you do, you feel like you missed out on something, but I, I would imagine there's been a tremendous amount of sacrifice for a lot of people over the last year and a half. But it would have been nice to give something back Um and, and to have the crowd, you know, I mean, it's not just the Jets players or the coaches, it's the fans too. It's painful loss. It's a painful thing to go through. Um, so you like to have the other side of it happen too when something good happens, and we miss that. We'll go next to Jason Bell from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jason. Thanks, Gregor. Paul, it's a rare situation that, that your club find itself in, having played eight playoff games. You're, you sweep and then you're swept. Uh, it's it's unique and it's but as I say, Marat said it's still raw for you. But what are your what do you what are your takeaways from a situation like that? Yeah, Jason, it's it's God. I'd like to give you a good answer to a solid question. It was extreme, right? Which was the case of the year. It was the story of the year. This was extreme. Um, all these things that you'd never faced before. We, we played an NHL season without fans in the building. We played an NHL season with a without a road game in our time zone. There's a whole lot of things that we've never dealt with before. Um, and you roll through four games against a team with the two best scorers in the league, and you like the defensive game, and then um, and then you get beat four straight times. They were good, and they were better than we were in this series, and they deserve to win. We'll go next to Mike McIntyre from the Free Press. Go ahead, Mike. Gregor and um, evening, Paul. Um, those of us who you know, cover your team. We've seen many games like this tonight, not just this season, many over many seasons where you guys win games like this, this kind of the Winnipeg way at times. Um, but to maybe some observers, they'd look at the shot clock and say, my goodness, that was a complete one-sided effort. Did it feel like that to you? A bit. I wouldn't, I would, I will, I wouldn't agree with the first, uh, Part of it, I, I think they were they were honest. So one of the things that's unusual that we went through is this back to back, and and different teams. But I th I think the the back to back in the playoffs favors the team that won, and uh, they were honest tonight. I mean, I'm not. I don't think the shot clock was particularly accurate at times, but I'm not saying that it was close. They they were better than we were uh, tonight, and. Um, you get down three like Edmonton did. Uh, you lose a game in overtime. They got us to triple overtime. We, we got it for triple minutes, I guess. But um, I, I think, I mean, I think you saw a team that had spent what it had to spend and was hanging on in this game tonight. And it wasn't from a lack of character or a lack of will. Um, but we were behind it, and, and that was obvious in the game. But I, I don't think at all with our team. I mean, it's um, it's a good team, it's, and it's going to get better. Like, it's it's just coming into its prime. So um, I, I don't feel that we saw this game happen very much at all in recent memory. We'll go next to Sean Reynolds from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Sean. Paul, I think about talking with you th 
throughout the year or in, in situations like this. And whenever you talked about the Montreal Canadiens, it seemed clear to me that there was a, a real deep respect for that team from you and how they played in the style. And you seem to recognize the danger of that style. It is what we saw in this series exactly what you knew they were capable of. And I remember at the beginning of the series, you talked about them, whichever team got to their identity first was going to succeed. Is this a case that they got to theirs and you didn't get to yours? So I I would agree with that completely, that, that in this, they were as good as I've seen them be in the game that they played. And it started three games into the, the last three games of the Toronto series. You're watching it and you're, you know, I know there's there's all the consternation from Toronto that they didn't win that. But when you're watching those last three games, you know that they're getting to where they need to get to. And then they had the addition of their goalie, right? Carey Price got to that elite level that he's at, that combination. Um, and, and then in truth, um, that combination versus us in terms of style is is a big challenge for us, right? So they're not looking to trade at all. Um, and in doing so... Um, they created some their forecheck very very quick on our d and that and that was a place that we struggled with clearly um and then they would have those top four guys minus tonight that made it very difficult to get to the net so it was a tough match um which i still think we had a chance to win but i think it would have been difficult you lost mark that was a that was a difficult problem